What's up guys, we're camping on Susha Island. Sorry for the shaky video, but I'm uh, hauling my cart back to the dock. Third load of stuff from the uh, boat. Brought way too much stuff, but check out the sunset behind me. Pretty much amazing. Block the sun with my head. Look at that. Amazing. This is Fox Cove. This is this is one of the just the cove one of the coves like there's I don't know maybe seven coves on uh, Seashire Island and Fox is kind of like just a one that doesn't get talked about much. So there's there's way prettier ones even that we haven't seen. So uh, we're just getting here. It's like seven o'clock and uh, pretty pumped so far. We launched at uh, Sandy Point. So it was a 10 mile run and uh, kind of outran the range from see any point there. And you can see uh, this is kind of the sights. Very, very nice sights all over. Um, water views, tons of water views. Like there's narrow little parts of the island and uh, you can have like two water views on one beach. So. Camping next to us is these guys that are seaplane mechanics, so they just had their plane drop them off and this is their annual camping trip, so really nice people. So you're, you're telling me this guy's an inexperienced pilot coming no, straight at us? No, not inexperienced. <laughs> I, I, that's kind of what you were saying though, right? <laughs> Younger. We've got pilots that have been there for 40 years. As they go, yeah. It's pinned. It was like 105 or something. So here's our campsite on Susha Island. That's Fox Cove right there. A little Susha Island. You can see there's a bunch of people kind of on this little peninsula. And this is uh, that island right there that's in the clouds, Orcas Island. It's the one of the biggest and tallest islands. So I'm actually getting 4G service right now because it has a uh, huge uh, cell phone and radio towers right at the top so surprised to have service but not gonna lie I kinda like it and uh, this, this is exactly what I made this for the San Juan Island so I've been charging up the phones and the radio and uh, pumped up our air mattress with this 12 volt pump all off this unit here and some neighbors are coming by and I'm going to be charging their cell phones after mine's done because there's some kayakers, there's a bunch of kayakers here that don't brought their phones but they everything's dead by now so yeah this is a great spot we're going to hike and explore more of the island soon so I'll show you all the scenic views You're coming all the way to shore, Harper. Said paddleboard fun? Yeah, as far as we can go, we just bought it. So this is Echo Bay, this is the main bay. If you look at the island, there's no docks, but there's a linear morge buoy. I don't know if you can see my finger. Right there. Pretty nice beach. Fine gravel to sand. There's a nasty rock right there you wouldn't see at low tide. But there's these are two finger shaped islands. Right there and there. Lots of boats out and since the wind's coming from the north, this is the place to be today. Hardly a breath of wind. Super hot out. Well it feels hot because there's hardly any wind. Cheryl. Ready, There's a bunch of just campsites all along here, uh, five or six, and bathrooms too. 
avalanche at 39. And there's still another part of the bay to explore. Yeah, Brody's swimming. Great family beach. Lots of people hang out on their yacht, so it seems pretty quiet over here. There's Baker. Gorgeous view of Baker right there. Right there. Okay. This is the in interior of the island. It's this road network. Nice and cool in here with second growth trees. Our two year old is very happy picking up the leaves. We're heading towards Shallow Bay. So this is Shallow Bay. You can see the uh, red and green buoys at the entrance. I guess there's reefs on both sides here. And uh, those boats are on mooring buoys. There's another sand beach over there across the bay, so we're gonna explore that. Uh, this is one campsite, campsite 26, which is pretty private. Um, there's nothing really around it, except so there's the trail here, and there's a bathroom right around this corner. So, pretty good campsite. I can see taking the boat in here and unloading uh, from the water if you have a small boat, because uh, it's quite a run from uh, uh, it's probably almost a mile hike from uh, Fossil Bay which has the docks there's the group camp clubhouse that door slides this is one of the docks at Fossil Bay see the whole harbor is full of about 20 mooring buoys this is the end of the line I guess for this little point Check out the rest of the trails. Let's see what's up here. Holy moly. That is a high cliff. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Beauty. Mm -hmm.